we're going to talk about reconstructive and reparative treatments for your hair. If you're interested, then keep watching. You know, we never leave our pick. Natural hair girls, we never leave our pick. Hi beauties and curls, welcome back for another video. It's your girl Melissa Q. Welcome, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're gonna get straight into it. We're gonna talk about reconstructive and reparative treatments for your hair. One of my highly one of my highly requested videos and one of my most viewed videos on my channel is my how to repair high porosity hair. I go in in depth and talk about products. I talk about what things can cause breakage, what things for high porosity hair really damages it and how to repair it, what products I've used to repair my hair. And so I wanted to talk about what in the world is a reparative, a protein treatment for your hair. Let's just get down to the basics of the 101. Sometimes we speed ahead and I wanted to pedal back a little bit. I wanted to let you guys know what it, in the world it was first. And then I wanna show you how I apply it to my hair because I actually have a treatment in my hair right now and I wanna show you the steps because it's important. First of all, a protein, a reparative treatment is going to have protein in it. A lot of times you'll see those buzzwords on a product that says protein, reparative, restore. You're going to see those type of buzzwords on the product. So I have all of my reparative conditioners, y'all. These are not my conditioning um, treatments, but these are my protein and restorative treatments. Comment down below. Let me know if you want to see me rank these and what I think about each and every one of them. Most of these I have tried. Let me know what strengthening protein reparative treatment you love down in the comments and I'll see you there and let me know if you want to see me rank these. What it's going to do for your hair, it's going to reinforce the hair follicle. Now, one of the things that is so important in length retention and healthy hair, even if you don't wanna grow your hair to a long length, if you just want healthy hair, the protein moisture balance is essential, okay? The protein is going to strengthen the hair, but the reason why the moisture is important is because strengthening type and restorative can dry the hair out and you want to bring that moisture back into your hair. So you're strengthening it, but you want to moisturize it as well. So you make sure it's not too dry. Having moisture overload can cause it to be mushy and brittle as well. And it will just break like a rubber band. Okay. So you don't want it too dry. You don't want it too moisturized. And the even balance is the reason why that balance is essential. So we know that it's going to reinforce the hair. It's going to repair the hair. It's going to restore things that were actually rinsed out, things that were taken away maybe through hair coloring. If you're flat ironing your hair, if you're curling your hair, if you are putting wands, hot rollers, if you are blow drying your hair, if you're diffusing your hair, you definitely want to use a protein or a restorative or a some type of strengthening hair mask to your hair. So let's talk about how we're going to actually apply it to my hair. I always love to apply in sections. Now with strengthening ones, you want to make sure that you first get the ends of your hair. It's the oldest part of your hair and those are the parts that's going to get the split ends. Split ends is when one strand is split into two and it can damage all the way up the strand. So if we can prevent it from splitting, if we can restore it, if we can reinforce it, if we can save the ends, that's what we want to do. So I love sectioning off my hair and I already have some in my hair, but I want to show you how to apply it. So I like to section it off in parts. If you have thicker hair, you probably want to do it. Uh, you know, you probably want more sections, but you want one that you can actually work the product into. 
the one that I used today was the She Scented Okra Hair Repair, Repair Restorative Conditioner. Those are those buzzwords you hear again. And it gently reconstructs and restores strength, and strength to hair. That's what it says. And it has ceramides and okra extract. Now this one really conditions my hair as well, but I definitely want to follow up with a a moisturizing type of conditioner just because this one is going to strengthen my hair more than condition it so I'm gonna take um you know a good amount of the product I like to leave this it says leave it on my hair for 10 to 30 minutes now I love to leave these on my hair for the amount of time that the directions say that is really important because if you leave it on your hair too long you can cause it to really dry out and you are trying to figure out why your hair is so dry so if you notice I'm going to start at the ends and work it up and I'm going to this one really allows me to have some it has a good amount of slip that's a good thing that I look at some of these can be quite thick so you might want it to you might want it to sit on the hair and loosen up the curl before going in and trying to do any type of detangling I detangle from the moment I start pre pooing or using a treatment to the time that I am rinsing it out and styling my hair Use. I love wetting my hair before because you will tend to use more product if you don't so again I'm starting at the ends I'm working it up this is a great thing to know about strengthening you really don't want it to get it on the scalp why because it can cause irritation inflammation it can cause you to have some irritation the protein sometimes can make the scalp very itchy so most of these are known for to help repair and restore so you really don't want those on your scalp so I like to start at the end and pretty much I will work it I actually work it a little bit past mid shaft but I try to really avoid the scalp avoiding the scalp I really like to put those in sections because I can see how far I went up with the product okay. so what I'm doing right now is I am twisting the hair you want to make sure that you thoroughly rinse this out I know the conditioning ones you can leave a little bit of product in your hair these you want to rinse out until your hair is completely thoroughly cleansed and you want to rinse it out until your hair is clear until not your hair is clear till the water is completely clear and the reason why you want to do that is because you don't want a protein sitting in your hair while you have styling products in it it can harden and break off or it can actually cause damage because this is a coated type of it's designed to coat the hair you don't want not to get the optimal results of your styler and your products because it won't penetrate these really are designed to penetrate and reinforce the hair strand so you definitely want to rinse these out as best as possible I tend to get thoroughly rinsed hair when I section it off and go section by section and rinse it off and then do an overall rinse hope that makes sense so I'm rinsing this out of my hair by sections and I do have I think a video of how I rinse this out and basically what I'm gonna do is turn on the water I'm not gonna show this today but I'm going to turn on the water and I'm just going to let it rinse over the hair while it's still in the twist and then section by section I'm going to take out the twist and I'm just gonna let the water run through the hair and then I'm gonna twist it back up. Let me do that and then I'll be back. We're gonna go ahead and start right here just because I've just rinsed out my reconstructive treatment out of my hair and we are going to go in with my hydration step of conditioning next. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye loveys. The thing that y'all already saw, hmm, it's a favorite. If y'all haven't checked out the review, I'm not going to go into the details of this, but